I've, I've heard oh. I've heard women uh, discuss uh, what they call what they call a toxic femininity. Your homegirl Leah, our homegirl Leah, drive one of clues bonds with Leah. I've heard her discuss discuss that. That sounds like around uh, on the same lines. Yeah, the problem is this: that a uh, a lot of times women that are not in the positions of power, like certain people might say, okay, it's Harvey Weinstein. He wants to have a sit down meeting with me. Sometimes we think, well, I'm gonna go have this meeting. Uh -uh. He always had meeting in his hotel room. They said that there sometimes were other women that would escort them up to the room. So they're thinking maybe this is just what it is. Some of them, these women are young, impressionable, never been in this business before. And next thing you know, someone's attacking you. Now I'm scared to say something because Pamela Anderson said, I shouldn't have went in the room. That's victim blaming. I shouldn't have went in the room, so now you have the right to attack me because I should have known better. Well, she's definitely not the first person to say that. Though. Well, yeah, well, it's definitely wrong. That's all I'm saying. And so she said, um, I'd rather be a sex symbol than not a sex symbol. That's a compliment, isn't it? Every girl wants to be sexy. Every girl wants to be as beautiful or pretty as they can be. Well, the only thing wrong about being a sex symbol is that it does expire at some point. <laughs> you, won't, you won't be a sex symbol forever. Your I looks just, will fade. I don't want women to ever feel discouraged or feel like I should to put myself you know in that position so therefore I can't speak out about it men need to be taught what they're not supposed to do and what you're not supposed to do is use your position of power to attack a woman no matter what and if a woman tells you no it's just no absolutely even if you feel like oh I should why was I there in the first place that's the problem why women don't speak out because people feel like that all right now let's talk about the lol comedy honors show it was supposed to take place at Gotham Hall on Thursday but they said it has been postponed the organizers posted on Instagram, due to circumstances beyond our control, we must regret regrettably postpone the event. Now, uh, ap apparently there were uh, some things that did not come together that they, quote, fought like hell to make it happen. I guess some things happened with behind the scenes and sponsorships and commitments not coming through the way that they were supposed to. But it was really a big deal. Lunell was supposed to MC the show. She was up here on The Breakfast Club talking about it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and there were a lot of big celebrity and comics coming in and people flying. Why did they cancel it? They, a lot of things behind the scenes. Mm. Some commitments fell through. They haven't been specific on exactly what those commitments were, but we just know it has been postponed. They didn't use the word canceled. Postponed. Okay. All right, now, Usher, people are saying that he has a new girlfriend. This is the rumor report, but uh, he is estranged from his wife, Grace Miguel. And according to rumors, he is dating uh, Shanice, who is Evelyn Lozada's daughter, Shanice really? Harrison. How old is she? It's just like, who is that really about? I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm wondering the obvious question. If he really does have herpes like the streets say, that he disclosed that information before him and the young lady started dating. But how old is she, though? Uh, she's old. I mean, she's of age. She was in college a few years ago. So. Where did they meet? I have, I don't know did all this information. Did they meet on herpesmingle.com? <laughs> it's just, just a rumor. I just want to know. We had a conversation the other day about not herpes shaming. I'm not herpes shaming. Why are you saying herpes? herpes? This is not herpes shaming. I'm asking obvious questions. If he does indeed have the herp, and he disclosed the information to her, they do have websites where people with herpes can meet each other. That is a fact. And what's right, what site is that? I don't know the name of it. You made one up they, just now. <laughs> but they do have this, those websites. Okay. Well, anyway, that's just the rumor. Um, now, Offset has announced his solo album release date. That's going to be coming out on December 14th. The hell are you doing, man? Sorry, you had to rush to that herpes website. Huh? <laughs> what is going on over wow, there? Envy. Can I finish my rumor? <laughs> crazy. It's it said I heard me. You gotta okay. rush to herpesmingle.com to see what the hell is going on. All right. So, Offset has announced his solo album release date. Stupid. That's coming out on December 14th, 2018. So Quavo and Takeoff solo projects are out already, and now Offset will be out before the end of the year. Okay. All right, I'm Angela Gee, and that's your rumor report. All right, thank you, Miss E. Charlemagne. Yes. Who are you giving that donkey to? You know, I know everybody wants me to give Florida donkey of the day. Uh, I don't think Florida is deserving of donkey of the day this morning, but there is a state out there that is. We'll talk about it for after that. Right, we'll get into that next. Keep it locked. Come on. Breakfast Club. Good morning. Can I have donuts for a snack? Never be the Why? I'm still hungry. Mama, I'm still hungry. Grindelwald's plan to divide the wizarding world. Fantastic Beast, The Crimes of Grindelwald. In theaters, November 16th, rated PG-13. Yeah. Yeah. Please, Adam.
in all of Florida, but I don't think all of Florida deserves a donkey, okay? Florida showed up. They had historic numbers for the midterm elections. They had a high early voter turnout. Amendment 4 passed in Florida. 1.4 million fellas regained the right to vote. Uh, as of this morning, with 99% of precincts reporting, Andrew Gillum had over 3.9 million votes. And his opponent, Ron, whatever his last name is, that's what he's voting for. Dan, Trevor, 55,439 votes. So I personally don't understand why Andrew Gillum conceded, but the moral of the story is, uh, I don't know if that's donkey worthy, but it's definitely Florida being Florida. I honestly think the truth to the matter is in Florida, racist bigots outnumber the good folks. Simple as that. But that's a conversation for another day because there is a state that deserves donkey this morning, and that state is Nevada. See, yesterday in Nevada, one of the races was for Nevada. I've been a guest on the Breakfast Club a couple times, Dennis Hoff. Uh, Hoff was a pimp. I have no problem with pimps getting involved so, in politics. Gosh. If the executive producer of Celebrity Apprentice can be the president of the United States of America, then the star of the HBO adult reality series Cat House can have Nevada's 36th Assembly District seat. Now, not only did Dennis Hoff own a few brothels, he wrote a book titled The Art of the Pimp, which is an ode to Donald Trump's book, The Art of the Deal. See, Dennis Hall fashioned himself as a Donald Trump-style Republican candidate, and he wanted Nevada's 36th assembly seat. Look, like I said, I have no problem with a pimp getting into politics because most politicians is pimps anyway. But here's the problem in this race in Nevada. It's not a matter of Democrat or Republican, liberal or conservative. It's simply a matter of dead or alive. See, Lazaya Romanoff is alive. Dennis Hoff is dead. He died on October 16th. I don't even know why he's on this ballot. Dennis Hoff been dead since October 16th. He's been dead for 23 days. Damn near a month. No way Dennis Hoff's carcass had a chance in this election, right? Let's go to the Las Vegas Review Journal for the report, please. Who says a dead man can't get elected in 2018? 
In life, Dennis Hoff was colorful, a showman, and this legal pimp turned politician, hating Californianization, promised to make Nevada, Nevada again. Sudden death came for the unconventional candidate at his Love Ranch brothel just before decision day. Republican voters in Assembly District 36 didn't mind at all. The Desert District backed the Bordello businessman big time. Dennis Hoff was the crystal clear winner for the state legislature seat. So what happens now? Commissioners from the three counties composing the district, Clark, Lincoln, and Nye, will meet separately to determine a candidate they want to nominate. Then they'll have a joint meeting chaired by the county with the largest population and cast votes to appoint one person from the same party. All this happens before the start of the 2019 legislative session early next year. There was no way to get another candidate the moment he died on October 15th. Now, I'm not going to hide for any reason at this point, but I would think that being a dead makes you ineligible to run for any office. All right, I would think you can't run if you don't have a pulse. Now, I just wanted to see Barack Obama's birth certificate to make sure he was eligible to be president. Well, wherever Dennis Hoff is in the afterlife, they are asking to see his death certificate to make sure he's dead because he's still winning elections. David God, I was running was so bad. I, I think I might, I might, I might just be over this whole thing. How are you still in the pool at all? I don't, I really don't get That's it. That's the problem. America really needs better qualifications when it comes to who they allow to run, you know. You have to be breathing. You should not be allowed, yeah, you exactly. You should not be allowed to be president if you have no experience in politics whatsoever, i.e. Donald Trump, and you should not be allowed to run for any office if you're dead. I mean, that's your impairment. Now, up next is Ask Ye, 800-585-1051. If you got a question for Yee, hit up right now. It's The Breakfast Club, come on. The Breakfast Club. <laughs> Message and data rates may apply. Yeah. I'm trying to put you on your bed. 
Yeah. Only not in heart, you don't ask me. Woo!
Visit firston5g.com now to learn more. $40 per month for YouTube TV after three months period. Cancel any time. We are exclusive furniture, proudly serving Houston and Houstonians for the last 20 years. The beautiful showrooms and growing. Our commitment to you is everything. Furniture by the way it's meant to be. We have the largest. He comes with two. Against the referee of the fight. You can't be the competitor and the win. 48 hours. Customer service that's second to none. This is what we do. This is who we are. Exclusive furniture where low prices live. Hey, what's up? It's Angela E. I'll say my name first. What up? It's DJ. The ladies first. Nah, shut up. If you haven't heard, we're switching to the Cash App. It's the Cash App. It's the number one rate app in finance. And it lets you do the most with your money. You can pay people back like that money you been owe me. Plus, you get free customizable cash cards, a Bitcoin buying and selling, and you get to deposit your paycheck right into the app. So make sure you follow at Cash App on Twitter and Instagram. It's a free app because you know we like free. When my friends tell me, oh, I don't have any cash on me right now for dinner, no problem. Cash App me your part. Download that Cash App. Cash App. Cash is king. I was on my way to my doctor's appointment. I was nine months pregnant at the time at a red light, and I was rear-ended by a tow truck driver. The guy who hit me, he was pretty dishonest. He only gave a first name. He didn't even stay for the police report. With Jim Allen, they were able to dig deeper and actually find out where he came from and who he works for and things of that nature. If you've been in an accident, don't wait. Call Jim Allen. I'm Jim Allen, the Texas Hammer. I know how to get you all the money. Implants. Arth. That feeling that won't go away Even if I hurt you so And I make my mind up here to stay I love you girl, yeah I need you girl, yeah In my Shouldn't 
another one. They don't want me to have another M. Uh -huh. So I made sure I got another M. Another M. Swing the best over yo. Summer's hours. I go on, on, bring the note, and I'm gonna run on the end of the door, on the on three, 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 on the on in less than three minutes, ask Four. me 805 If you need well, yeah, yeah. any type of device, phone lines are wide open. It's the breakfast club. Good morning.
my niggas busting at the cops on the regular. Bitch sucking dick, give it top on the regular. Catch me water whipping straight drop on the regular. Yeah, you know I'm running for the shit on the regular. Bare face, I'ma hit a lick on the regular. Pussy with the drop, gun cut on the regular. Yeah, I'm six nine with the nine on the regular. Niggas want war, yeah, kick the door, yeah. Niggas want the sauce, yeah, shake them off, yeah. I'm still in the hole, yeah, bust a drug, yeah. Rolling through the city, yeah, with my niggas, yeah. Niggas want their bitch back, I don't tick tack. Run up here, click clack, blood shit back. Baby, I ain't a hot boy, I'm a block boy. Double click a Glock, make them diddy pop, boy. Nigga, we be busting up the ops on the regular. Nigga, we be nigger from the cops on the regular. Bitches sucking dick and giving top on the regular. Shit, that's on my wrist across the lot, it ain't regular. You can take the money when you die, it ain't regular Niggas with me really ready to die, I'm the regular Pull, 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 pull up to a door, yeah, get on the floor, yeah, yeah. Pull up in the show, don't check out the score, yeah, yeah Got the coach money on the floor, yeah, yeah They know I got jokes, drippin', drippin', so much, yeah, yeah Pull up to a door, yeah, get on the floor, yeah, yeah Pull up in the show, don't check out the score, yeah, yeah I 
just wanna know if you gon' ride I just wanna know if you gon' ride I see many paparazzi taking pictures on the side of me Bitch, 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 bitch
bitch, 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 Court twice. New freeze. And the first time wasn't even really on my accord. 